Hello everybody, Neck here, and this is your daily dose of Minecraft mods. Today we're going to be going over the Mob Origins mod, which is a recently released add-on for the Origins mod. Notice I called this an add-on, that means you need to have the Origins mod installed for this mod to work. For those of you who don't know what the Origins mod is, it allows you to choose an origin when you first join a world that grants special abilities. These are usually balanced out by giving a negative side effect that matches the theme of the origin. Like how the Blazeborn here is immune to fire and lava, but now takes damage from water. Alright, now that we all know the basics of the Origins mod, let's get to the add-on. This mod adds six new origins, all based on Minecraft mobs. We'll start with the Slime origin. Slimes are bouncy, jelly-like creatures, so the slime origin makes you bouncy just like you would imagine. This means you'll never take fall damage, no matter what height you fall from. You also kind of look like a slime, you're kind of transparent and have a green tint. And I think the coolest feature of this origin is that you can summon slimes to help you. This is on a cooldown and it does cost some hunger to summon them, and you gotta watch out because they hurt you too. Slimes just hurt anything they touch. Striders travel the vast oceans of lava with speed. This origin spawns in the nether, is immune to fire damage, and water hurts you, just like the Blazeborn we looked at. And not only can this origin walk on lava, you get speed 2 while you're on lava, which is pretty awesome, but you do get slowness 1 when you're on literally anything else. So every other thing in the game, you get slowness 1. This can be rough starting out, but once you get an elytra, it's probably not too bad. And finally, striders are rideable creatures, which means other players can ride you. Evokers are masters of magic and collectors of totems. With this origin, you can summon magical fangs around you. Totems have a 10% chance to not be used when you die. These are regular totems of undying, by the way. I'm just using a custom resource pack. Some very cool people on my Discord made for me. Shout out to you guys. And pillagers love you, but iron golems and villagers do not like you at all. This means no villager trading with this one. Witches are masters of brewing and great with magic. This origin makes potions that you consume last twice as long. You also have an ability that gives you a potion effect based on the situation that you're in. Like water breathing if you're in water, fire resistance if you're in lava, and speed if you're on land. This origin is also loved by pillagers, but hated by villagers and iron golems, so no trading with this one either. Snow golems are made of snow, and they're weak versus anything that might melt them. This origin packs ice in snowballs that you throw, allowing them to deal a little damage. You leave a trail of snow behind you wherever you walk, and you deal more damage while you're in cold biomes, but hot biomes and water hurt you. And the last origin with this mod is the Guardian. This is still a work in progress, but currently if you choose the Guardian, you'll spawn in an ocean monument. You have spikes that have a chance to hurt anything that attacks you, and they don't sink in water unless you want to. The downside to choosing this origin is that you can only breathe underwater. This makes every part of the game that's out of water, so pretty much the entire game, a pretty big challenge. The developer plans to add a Guardian Beam ability and a way to evolve into an Elder Guardian in a future update. And that makes six. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I need to give an extra big thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their names are up on the screen right now. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. I had a fantastic time making it. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Keep playing, keep having fun. We will see you guys next time.